All right, how are we doing tonight? Turn that. Is that already off? Yes, it is. Okay, we're good. Oh man, it's weird being recommended to myself. Yeah, seems to be, but hopefully people will uh, trickle in as we go on. I need to probably stretch anyway. Exciting though, because uh, uh, like I said in the description, uh, I'm hoping this will be... I doubt I'll finally crack the code and finish all of these completely rendered in one night, even with the extended time. But, um, I did charge my headset this time, by the way. So, uh, hold on. Let me just check the door. So the dog doesn't keep running in and out. Alright, we're good. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping, uh... I'm hoping this will be the last one before I can start working on uh, the first off-brand Omnibus uh, episode proper, because Cr I revised Windblade recently and I ha just need uh, Chromia finished at this point. She is the last one of the first three I wanted to make. The homie is up. Hey, what's up, dude? Alright, let's see. Start putting the basic shape down. This is going to be the arc, so it pronounced the strong posture a little bit more. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going well. Like I, uh, like I said, hopefully this will be the last one before I start working on this uh, video series proper, so I'm excited. 
And this is thankfully a design I already have a lot of confidence in still, so I just, I'm mostly just touching up the, you know, certain details and uh, refining it for the final video. Updating the proportions a bit, fixing the pose, all that kind of thing. What's up with you guys? You guys having a good Sunday? Yeah, it might be a little too big. I think maybe more on this side, yeah. Looks a little bit more right on that side. Uh, the series is uh, sort of a spiritual successor to like the AllSpark Almanac thing. It's a video series based on that. That's what I'm working on. smaller but so far so good oh boy yeah fun times hey Alex what's up right over here, the hip pouches, outer arm plating, well, I mean, RC already exists, so I can't really, can't really do that for uh, animated. It's gonna be like a video series rec uh, recounting them, not necessarily an audio log, I don't think, but basically uh, more of a visual, visual kind of deal on the based on the pages. I guess if that makes sense. I should probably have these in separate pa uh, panels. Big ears, gonna keep that in mind. Beta, hmm. maybe, I don't know. a little short. I've kind of got a vague list of characters, but as I found out last night, apparently it's not quite expansive enough, so I'll have to look into that. Okay, so... Toe line might be fun, though.
Optron. Hello. Nice to see you, Kieran. Optronic, Optronics might be a little redundant, but I do have an, I have an idea for a character that uses the name, but not quite that character. Optronics, though, would be a little redundant, because that's just an alternate version of Orion. Pass the flint test, not really. Yeah, that's more or less... Oh, hi Agatha! Nice to see you here. Long rack, yeah. That's basically the idea. Anyone who was in, like, the... Especially the McAdam shot for the completed Almanac, they're gonna be... in it at some point, I'm sure. Not making a whole lot of promises yet. But we're gonna still see how the first few go. It's gonna be a lot... It's gonna be a lot of work. You ever do shattered glass? Uh, shattered glass character? Uh, yeah, probably. I definitely think I should do a shattered glass episode at some point. That'd be fun. It'd mostly be a lot of repaints, but you know, that is true to what uh, Derek and Josh like to do, and it would just be fun for me anyway, which is the important part too. Uh. Tidal Wave and Sky- oh yeah, Tidal Wave and Skylinks, they're in there. Gonna have to do get to them eventually. Man, what the fuck was I thinking with this back view? I'd say this is the one part I didn't really do that well with Chromia the first time around, the back view. So I'm probably gonna have to re like, pivot that leg. Take advantage of the real estate. Get consumed by your own hubris. Unfortunately, this hubris is how I got paid, so... Is how I started getting paid by Kian, so... It... I can do it just well enough to get employment. But it's still so much, so much pain. So much pain. Look at all that trunk pay uh, trunk space sh shot. <laughs> Control yourself. Or, or is anyone going to behave? Okay, that's already looking better. No. God damn you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I kind of knew when I was asking. Eh, I should have known. There will be no behaving, everybody. Run. No! I don't need this anarchy in my chat. It's inevitable. Doesn't matter how big or small your platform, it's inevitable. Okay, I can make them a little smaller. So I have more room to work with, especially with that crown thingy. I 
be a lot better though. Flames crackling, <laughs> glass shattering, cat yelling, no! Uh, I should have known. I'm probably going to miss this next weekend at TFCon, but then again, that's just live action chaos. It's just in person insanity. Sitting in your art stream so I am going to use the official head. That's what I used last time. But yeah, it's nice having you guys sit in. I mean, even though my chat descends immediately into chaos. Oh, by the way, if you ever hear me talking like with that sudden lisp and stuff, it means I put the, the uh, stylus in my mouth so I can use my mouse and stuff like that. It's, uh, I keep holding my, like, if I have to use my mouse and stuff, I keep holding, like, my, uh, hold my stylus between my teeth like I'm chomping on a cigar. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not more tooth damage on this thing. But, yeah, if you hear me talking like an old-school old gangster with that kind of lisp, uh, that's why. It's stylus in my mouth. But yeah, I'm using the official head as reference. I already did once. There it is. I used to use that while I have a stylus in my mouth. Yeah, it's just where it goes. What? If if not if not put in mouth, why cigar shaped? You sound, you do sound like a gangster. You're hired. Unfortunately, I'm the godfather around here, or at least the ringmaster and the psychist. Crazy. You bunch of crazy mooks. Alright, where's that, where's that official head? So no head? I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, see, I even included, I even included the, call, a few people don't use it, they just use the head, I include the, the thingy at the base of her neck for the, the tie. I pay attention to details. Can't say I don't do nothing. Alright, anyway. Let's look at the official head for reference. Alright. start here first.
Oh, the chat, the chat just isn't updating on my, on the stream, that's why not. Okay, let me look over here. Sorry, I wasn't ignoring everyone, my, uh, the chat on my, uh, on OBS just isn't updating. I have my phone open for that, though. Uh, fire, the Firestar recolor I'm gonna do later, at, at my own leisure after the video. Um... Go ahead, come on, you got... Pause. Pause. Yesterday, but are you gonna redraw Giltor for this section? They can go on a Quintesson episode. Uh, Giltor, I have some... Okay, now chat's updating. Giltor, I have some ideas for, just not... For a Quintesson episode. You'll see. Um, I'm curious how you would make Skylink works. Would you have a body similar to the original but as a transport truck? That's not a bad idea. I like the idea of it would be the lower half as a transport truck, I think. That would make the most sense. And obviously the upper half is some kind of like personal shuttle or something. And then obviously the two combine like the original toy and whatnot. Uh I feel like we have a friend who would be very upset if I didn't do proper justice to the weird cat bird, as it were. Agatha and Omni know who I'm talking about. Actually, Stone's here too, he knows. Uh, the thing is, Skylynx is being developed later. I, The headcanon we've, like, I have always had is that he gets developed after the fact, like once Project Aerial Bot and stuff like that's in effect, where he's designed to be a super weapon, so he would absolutely be part shuttle. His name is literally Skylynx. Kinda has to... It'd be like if Jetfire was still a car, you know? Okay, now that's not how they work. They're just flat fins on the in the almanac. Decepticon creation. Uh, maybe. Probably not, though. I think it would just be. They've been making ships since Omega Supreme after all. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. No, I think it still makes perfect sense that Skylinks would be an Autobot developed project. Just maybe a more recent one. Okay, that's a start. Just trying to figure out the basic placement of everything. Okay, so that's gonna have to be taller. I kind of knew that. Shorter. 
<laughs> there we go. Okay, I make a Supreme didn't work out, but we can. Ah, uh, fuck, this one's just insane. <laughs> It's like, ah, uh, yeah, surely the next one will be fine. Ah, uh, shit. Honestly, I kind of like this face. God, not the Combiner Wars reference. She's got a tough job. I think I should just call it, like, leave it like this. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think this is good. This should just be the... Everything else should be fine and perfectly rendered, but then her face should just be this. Upset. <laughs> she is upsetty. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, she's got a pretty thick neck on the original model. Okay, that works. And then... She's got... Give her her little tie. I'm sure it's supposed to be like part of her like IDW1 mirror and stuff like... Or uh, yeah, windshield thing like that, but it's her uh, tie in this context. Head's definitely a bit big, but we'll work on that. <laughs> Iron Hide got late going home. <laughs> No, me Yankee. Wait till I come back. <laughs> Haven't really thought about her relationship to Ironhide, but her deal is going to be basically that she's uh, Chromia or Windblade's bodyguard in the setting. That like she got upgraded on a Caminus to a beefier body, and she's uh, Windblade's bodyguard. Lastly, will she be an Autobot? Yeah, she'll still be an Autobot, but um, I like the idea that Decepticons creating their own Skylings based on Death Source's CW toy colors need be the actual Death Source. That's an interesting idea. Not too sure about. Or actually, you yeah, know, that's an interesting idea. I just don't know if I would use it myself. I do like it though. It's a nice way to incorporate that more. Obs at this point, I'd say more obscure. Take on Lyo Kaiser. 
there's a lot of silly stuff like that from Combiner Wars I think we're just never going to see again. Sources army. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe her shoulders should be more like her old self, so maybe wheels on her shoulders this time around. the idea for having her more G1-y shoulders. So, wheels over here. Feels like it. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, got like newer Skylinks might be a bit too expensive to do that again unless they release a core version. Not that I would object to a tiny desk sized Skylinks. We could do with more fun little desk toys. think of the idea of uh, Black Arachne Redemption? I don't know. Um, I guess just it would have depended on how they handled it. Obviously like the seeds were there for her not being a total monster even in the end, but it uh, entirely depends. I'm sure it would have been done well. But I also like the idea of her being the uh, okay, gonna have to fix the trajectory of that. Also, like her, the idea of her being like the main bad guy of a season. So I don't know about that. I want to make this basic shape work, but I don't want her arms to be super skinny.
hate when it does that. this to be like armor for Chromia. I think the whole idea is it's like a full upgrade kind of thing. I don't think that it really like works as like tiny power ma like tiny power master armor. I feel like that would also make it maybe a little less special. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. Okay, I think I'm realizing the problem. Biceps are definitely too short because this part's too long, so... That's better, I think. I can like that. Here we go. Not perfect, but we're get we're figuring it out. Make her stacked. I'm trying. I'm trying to make sure she isn't like scrawny. That was the whole point. Making sure she was jacked, bro. Bicep to forearm ratio, aka Nightmare Zone. Yeah, you get it. I'm keeping Windblade to Karg just because I thought it'd be more thematically interesting. If she didn't, like, in animated, if she didn't have that mode yet. Like, the technology isn't quite perfect yet on Kaminus, or she just isn't quite eligible for a flight mode yet. The way I have en en envisioned her relationship with Mistress of Flame is better in some ways, in some others worse, because it's more like a mom coddling her golden child kind of deal. That's why Chromia is involved at all, as a bodyguard. Uh -huh. Buddy, the, look at the chest ratio already. Eh, may, maybe a flight car mode. That actually would make a lot of sense. Though, that depends on how much I want to revise the Windblaze design at this point. I've already done... Some drastic revisions with her. It depends on entirely how lazy I want to be with this. Until, like, last night, it was pretty much just her holding me back. So, like... <laughs> Good night, Agatha. Uh, Star Saber, well, I don't get the impression he's that old. He's on the mental with, like, Springer and other seemingly contemporary faces from, uh, Yokotron's dojo. I feel like he's still out there somewhere, not that old. Yeah, that's true, but... So it, does, it depends on if I think the idea is interesting enough to put in even more work at this point and hold off the video even longer. Because I'd have to like stop and incorporate a flight mode into Windblade and that might result in more design revisions overall. Okay, definitely liking the new shoulder shapes a little bit more.
Uh, I have a headcan for Yoketron. That would be interesting. Yeah, lay it on me, man. Not sure how fast I'll respond. I have to keep doing this and tapping over, so... So I might be not 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 be blah, 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 I can't talk anymore. Might not be long enough. Uh, I was trying to say the first three times. too high, I see now. <sighs> the heck can was that Yokatron was friends with and trained with Wing when ooh. Okay. I'll be fine juggling things. I just gotta get a good rhythm. I don't want to get too distracted is all. But if I didn't want to do it with company, I wouldn't be streaming now, would I? Oh, Yogatron, maybe Bludgeon. Uh, I could see that, I suppose. I mean, odds probably are... I mean, were the odds that Yoka, uh, Lockdown was the only one of his students to betray him, you know? Seems, a pr seems pretty unlikely. One Chromie have any chest markings or anything I can work with? Eh, kind of. Yeah, okay. Cause I wanna emulate I think that's close enough. I can emulate the lapels of a jacket and still have the Yeah. Gotta fix the positioning a little bit in a later pass. We have head cans of like Star Seekers being a fleet of bounty hunters by the Ooh, ooh, double dealer. That could be interesting. Like not enough's done with double dealer. The less we talk about the Netflix show the better. Okay, now I realize the problem with the posing on that one. One it needs to be further back. There it goes. Legend being okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, Ty from yeah. Okay, maybe. 
Ooh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, nice to see other people's interpretations of the TFA stuff. Okay, this I want to reference her again for, because I like the shape. Just maybe a bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah. That's still, that's still good, I think. Definitely stand to be wider, though. I like how beefy your chromie is. Thank you. Hopefully I can... Hopefully even with the revisions it'll still be... Yeah, I like that. Not quite strike a swole is what I'm going for, but a beefier body. Something a bit different from the other... The usual female characters in the show. I'm not like the other girls, I can bench press a tank. <laughs> I did make a TFA version of Ty with the cassette bought as- Ooh! Ty is a cassette, that's interesting. How about keeping double deal as a triple changer but with auto fun? Hmm, maybe. I don't know if I want every- would want every single triple changer to have, like, a split personality thing. Or, like, the faces and stuff for it. I feel like maybe that's specific. Like, there should still be problems. But maybe that not every single one has an alternate face. It would make Blitzwing feel a little less special. But that's just me. Is there a belt I can take from this? I feel like naval officers have like some kind of- Okay, no. I guess not. I just wish we had more for uh, body variety with TFA women. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm- uh, That's why I'm doing this. So, there were- Because like the only uh, bulky one in the show was Stryka. Literally, that was it. Base boost. <laughs> hi, hi, babe. How goes it? What's poppin'? Cybertron style TFA evac who basically turns into Gutsman from the Ruby Mega. Not familiar with that one to be honest. Ooh. Oh yeah, punch and counter punch. That's gonna be a tricky one. Romeo looks good so far. Thank you. Yeah, this is a very early, like rough sketch, but I'm trying to keep as many good elements from this one as pot as uh, from this one as possible. Originally it was going to just be a straight up redraw, but there was I realized there were some things I did want to change. I feel like Derek probably would have given her like the G1 shoulders. And I think I'm going to go ahead and account for like the, the white stripes here too. Maybe his cufflinks or something. Okay.
Oh, yeah, uh, Fire, uh, Firestar. Probably gonna do that another day, but yeah. That was a persistent idea in chat last night, and I realized, oh, yeah, probably. That'd be a good way to bolster the, uh, bolster the roster. I may even, like, do hers, like, make her a page, or at least her, uh, palette and head for the video as a fun bonus. Who knows? Not trying to change too much. So much has already been delayed because I still need to make the assets. That basic shape for Chromia. So long, suckers. Okay, that also needs to be tipped in a little bit more. I think that's a good start. Uh, I can always, yeah, I think I'll leave them off this time. Not every TFA ha model had all four wheels visible. In fact, a lot of them didn't. Let's see. And then for this one... You could use Firestar as a bonus episode for... Re yeah, probably. Or part two of, like, Caminus and stuff like that. I'm sure I can do, like, a repaint Bonanza or something. Using the TFA Ironhide for his 1.0 and the broadcast bot for. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the idea of like using. As you can tell, I don't like the idea of just reusing bodies very much. I like doing things the hard way, apparently. Yeah, waist is a little short. Or, yeah. There we go. That's a little better. It'd be fun to, for you to do a series like that. With, yeah, each plant colony, I would like to do that for sure. Especially with colonies like... Uh, oh, man, uh... Animatro- uh, not Animatros, what's it called in, uh, IDW, the better name? Um, what, what is it called in IDW? The animal world. Eucharist, thank you. Eucharist especially would be interesting in the context of animated. Really would want to know how the hell that works. Maybe I'll talk to uh, Jim Sorensen or something about that. Like I was saying, maybe do bonus episodes for redecos and head swaps could keep you help uh, help you keep a more consistent schedule. Not a bad idea. I already have a few that could have repaints. Uh, Windblade, someone suggested... Uh, her purple friend from the 
Netflix series, but there's also Stiletto, like the Beast Wars Uprising comics, and uh, Chromia, obviously there's Firestar. I don't see Arch Arc on it, where uh, Metal Hawk is from, I think. Okay. Uh, Lucifer is another one I would want to work with. Uh, Straxus, the world Straxus rules. Oh, Paradron, yeah, because I don't think that was just... Wait, wasn't that already destroyed in the world of animated? I thought it was. Alright, good luck at work, Omni. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, Black Arachnia molding a uh, Eucharist. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea, actually. Like, maybe after the end of the would-be events of Season 4, she ends up on her own planet and, like, terraforms it. Oh, that's a gr that's a great idea. Like the Predacon uprising thing doesn't work, and then she met like she establishes Eucharis for beast formers and things like that. Maybe yeah, that could be where like uh, Nash teeth and stuff like that come in. Beast wars can be referenced by virtue of the. Clones and other outside characters coming to Eucharist and starting trouble. Okay. Oh man, I remember why I hated back views. Why do I why did I do so many of them to get paid for it? I hate doing back views. It's so much harder making them look as good. It's like the graphic design is my burden meme. It's back, uh, back designs are my burden. You would think it'd be fun because I get to draw this all day, but no, it's not. It's hell. Chat's not updating again. Sorry guys, it's uh, taking a minute. Chat's in like slow mode or something. 
I just checked over my phone. Huh, it's suspiciously quiet. Check my phone, see a bunch of messages that aren't on screen yet. Ah. Uh. There we go. Now it's updated. Separate planet just to excuse the one. Life of a streamer, what will go technically wrong this time? Yeah, ain't that the truth. I know that looks too malformed. Yeah, be gonna make tea. Okay. Enjoy your tea. Combining with this pretender shell, I'm pretty sure that's just Simmons. I don't know how that would work. This part definitely needs to be wider, though. Have to eat. <laughs> Come on, man. I was gonna start heat uh, heat setting my jacket, but I'll try to turn in early for work. Yeah. I did. No, I saw the comment. I, I know the feeling. That's how I feel about a lot of my uh, animated uh, stuff, especially like the early things. Just, it's the, yeah, the, uh, yeah, I still like some of these, but they're definitely a little outdated now. No, I, I already mentioned Stiletto. Adult Saris, I'm not sure about that one. I feel like if anything, she'd probably get an alt mode, like, based on her... Uh... Like, jet scooter thingy. 
I feel like uh, Isaac wouldn't let her turn into something as like dangerous as a sports car. Okay, now I don't need the reference there anymore. Or at least not for now. Definitely gonna have to make these two a little smaller so they can more easily fit on the same page. There we go. I think before I get too carried away, I should definitely design the alt mode with these changes in mind. Yeah. Because otherwise I'm gonna have to revise her again later anyway. That's exactly what happened with Windblade, so... Lesson learned. If you're designing a character, design a Transformer, design their alt mode first. I'll have to maybe check that out later. I'll see you about, see you about after the stream. Crony is weird. She either has been an RC retool or Thunderblast slash Minerva. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's weird. Like, that's Nautica's only toy so far with how popular she is. Uh, excuse me. Hopefully with like legacy and stuff and the comics universe toys, like eventually we'll get one for Nautica, but who knows. I'm surprised the third party with like who leans into like the IDW stuff like uh MMC hasn't done Nautica yet. Cause even if you can't use her, like, even if there aren't a whole lot of boats to turn her into, into, there's the SG repaint colored, like, Scylla. Why are you me if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I, let me take that out of my mouth. I don't mind you asking, actually, I'm glad you did. Um, I'm gonna to set the stylus down for a second. Um, uh, sorry, I'm stretching. Ugh. Don't get old. Um, I'm ask. I'm doing this because I've already been proficient at like animated designs for a while, and it's helped me make a lot of connections and things like that, uh, and obviously helped me foster an audience to connect with people with uh, people like you and get more people to talk to and there are a lot of people I'm seeing at uh, TFCon that Transformers Animated in particular helped me uh, connect with as like a meaningful I mean, it helped me make a lot of meaningful connections and I'm doing this specifically as like a tribute to uh, Derek Wyatt and like how I got here and things like that and especially after last TFCon I had the privilege of talking and hanging out with the likes of uh, uh, Jim Sorensen who was one of the main people working on the AllSpark Almanacs when they came out like the originals and so I'm kind of this is my way of kind of paying tribute to all that and Carrying on, like, the legacy, as it were. Ooh, Zarin. Zarin is a... Again, not usually big on just doing straight-up repaints. That was mostly, like, a botcon thing. I think even Derek admitted that. Like, a lot of the repaint ones were just... To pitch them to botcon. Like, Inferno and so... In the actual show would have had unique designs. They wouldn't have just been Waspinator repaints. As one example. But a gold version of Cybertron, uh, Megatron as Zarin would be cool. Okay, the position is a little bit better now. Did, I, I thought I saw, I thought, I thought during like the Prime Wars I remembered seeing a Zarin figure, or like hearing about one. I could have sworn we got a Zarin reference. Oh wait, no, I know what I'm thinking of. Uh, if you remember like the old Fall of Cybertron toys, like the original ones, I'm thinking of Impact, like Ruination's head, that's what I was thinking of with like the Zarin reference. 
I like TFA Lysak head scope. It looked amazing and adorable, even. I imagine she had a buy design similar to Twitch from Earthspark, and he's like the Bowser Jr. to the Uh. I think the canon idea is, again, like the Jet Twin mold, but I do like. I will. Uh. Explore the idea of. Unique designs for Leo and Lysak at some point. Okay, so the spy is looking pretty good. Definitely gonna move on to her alt mode with this in mind. Okay. Elita's team definitely could do with some revamps. Uh, I am kind of looking for other... I am looking for other... Uh, members of Orthea or Elita Infinite, whatever you want to call it. The Power of the Primes Elita 1 combiner, I'm trying to get the like some more of them at TFCon, actually. I'm probably not going to get green light, but I'm hoping to get green light. I don't even care if she doesn't come with like her part, like her uh, little sword lion partner guy or the hand just as long as I can get green light herself I'm happy okay I do like the beef of this truck mode so let's try to keep it as much as I can but right away this could be a great spot for these parts so let's keep them square yeah I think separating them like this would be good and then separating this out a little bit more so that we can get aha Yeah, the big boxy front grill, grill section. Considered other platforms to promote your commissions, like, uh... Maybe, I think... I've been meaning to post on other places, like Newgrounds, and I left DeviantArt a while ago because they started doing AI bullshit, so... I think they've toned that back, or at least made it opt-in, so I may start posting on DeviantArt or something. I don't know. Not too sure yet. Uh, we did get scrounged eventually. Blaster's BFF, who died horrifically. I like the idea of nightline action. is mostly noticeably cat-like features, like kitty cat paws. And... Mm. Oh man, yeah, like go full cat girl. That could be interesting. Uh, oh man, that'd be too much power. Full on anime cat girl Lysak. Are you kidding? People would go nuts. Uh, like, Jupago25 alone has 2,000 columns of just... And I guess I could do more Ben 10 fan art. Probably, could probably stand to do that. Okay. Man, I actually don't like the alt old alt mode as much as I thought I did. Wasn't cooking as much as I thought. I could definitely do with could definitely was due for a change. Look 
after TFA. No, I, I do love TFA Lysac. She's she's very she is very adorable. I do find like the juxtaposition of her and Leo Zach's official uh, bust uh, being to be very funny though. As a result, as a consequence. Alright, let's maybe look at her original... Why the... Why, why am I looking at her original truck mode? It was such a nothing... design. Never mind. Definitely need to look at a official TFA, like, vehicle. Oh, right. I didn't really have straight up wheels so much, so I may have to lean more into like the treads. Maybe put a hubcap over this one, like one of the weird alien hubcaps. And then, ooh, okay, yeah. Yeah, segment out this section and that can be her legs. Maybe hell about having a crush on Lysak to annoy Leozak, <laughs> maybe. People do. People did seem to like Hellbat um, last night in the chat. So Dodge Durango. Uh, the thing is, I'm this one. I'm trying to rectify that it's a Cybertronian alt mode and not in so like an alien truck and not an Earth vehicle. So that's the only thing I gotta be careful about this time. Uh, not really as familiar with, like, all the Mario stuff, to be honest with you, so I don't really have a, as much of a frame of reference. Alright. Big old shoulders with the truck. How am I gonna do this? Vortex edits. Well, funny seeing you here when Max is gone. You could do hell bad and other breast forces head. So I, <laughs> I appreciate the idea, and it's probably it is a good idea. I would pr I would probably say, but again. I like to do things the hard way. I'd probably start from scratch uh, right off the bat with them. doesn't look good. I feel like something about this though, just not, not that. Hmm, how am I gonna make this work? At least there's some precedent with head swaps like Bumblebee and Ratchet by type, but I can respect the mindset, thank you. It, I'm glad someone appreciates my insanity at the very least.
Oh man, the uh, uh, <laughs> the breast force love triangle, Lord. this time. I'm not like I still haven't watched Victory, so I don't really know. I can't really comment on uh, kill uh, kill Bison or anything like that. I just know he was one of the only other ones in the Almanac. Past that, I'm lost. I'm gonna be real with you. And it sucks because I've heard from friends like. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I'm glad you're getting interested in Death Source independently because he's always seemed like a character that would be kind of your vibe. And it's like, oh, cool. I'd like to uh, figure that out for my... I'd like to see that. But I have to get through Headmasters and... I think, what is it? God Master Force? Victory is so fun, you should check it out when you have the time. I will, I certainly want to. It's just, like, again, I gotta get through the other ones. Glad to hear apparently Master Force is good, though, because Headmasters was a really bad start. Not a fan of what I've been seeing with head, uh, Headmasters so far. The pacing of the first episode was awful. Uh, what about Pyro and Downshift? I'm uh, not sure. I haven't really thought about them, to be honest with you. Odds are, uh, most of the characters you guys mentioned are going to be a case of me going, not sure, haven't thought of them. Because, like, the the Allspark Almanacs covered a lot, but there was also, at the same time, there was a lot of ones they just didn't get the chance to address, so it's like, so it's going to be a lot of, there's a lot of ground to cover. Too bulky. Okay, they do have uh, wheels and stuff. Bumblebees is the most helpful so far. We found the victory manga is different. Okay. Yeah, that's why I kind of gathered the manga is where we got. Ah, excuse me. Vic the manga is where we got stuff like uh, Lysak and uh, Esmeral anyway. So I believe that.
Uh, no, sorry, I kind of spaced out. Uh, I don't have as much, like I said, I don't have as much to chip in on the victory stuff. I'm mostly familiar with the IDW versions of the characters, so. I like the idea of Death Source not being, despite the name, not a bad guy, but. We're not. A Decepticon and, like, a bad guy, but not a bad person, if that makes sense. But yeah, I've been kind of zoning out trying to figure out how this works. Really trying to get a good angle on Chromia here. First introduction to Dez was IDW. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. IDW2 Death Source. <laughs> I just know everyone was like loved how obsessed he was with Cliff Jumper. High section should be somewhere around here. Those things could be uh, vents on the hood then. That's I, I like that. So I'm gonna just shrink this part maybe.
Definitely gotta make it a little bit meaner, but I like how it's going so far. Because of Russian question was caused by flame, abuse this Autobot rank, and the Autobot system to stay out of trouble shows not up. Oh yeah, flame! That's when I should look at at some point. Flame. Hmm. Uh, what characters you would immerse? Oh! Uh, let's see. I know he's already an established mercenary. I would want to use a crotchety old man bug bite. Um, uh, as for non-established ones, the whole thing is like most of them are uh, random repaints of uh, given characters, so... Usually evil Autobots, if we're being entirely honest. Um... That is a good question. Maybe... Maybe... Uh, I think maybe I would steal uh, Armada, Sideswipe, Wheeljack, whatever, and use him as another... Rodimus rolled mold repaint as a mercenary. Okay, have a have a good night, play more, and I I'll, I will have fun at TFCon. And I'll be sure to I'll be making a video on it after the fact, so I'll be I hope to share that with you guys before too long. Hope that video doesn't take me too long to make, rather. Yeah, I like the shape. She's definitely a little too smooth, though. Ooh, yellow splendid convoy. Uh, at some point, definitely. There's already a TFA artist who has like a really con solid concept for her, though. Okay, I think I'm gonna exaggerate this part, and make it really big. starting to get there. Uh, I need to use the Rodimus Moldus Cannonball. Ooh, interesting. It, it's not necessarily stopping me, it's just I would have to come up with a compelling idea of my own. Remember when you were going to make a photo comic about TFCon 2022 with all the pics you took of TFA Nemesis? Yep! I do, and I already offloaded all the pictures off my computer, I and mean, off my phone to my computer, so I could do it eventually, but I've already decided the joke's going to be since odds are a missing link convoy isn't showing up in time for the con anyway. Uh, I'm bringing Classics Nemesis, and the joke is going to be that's uh, TFA Nemesis's body ported over into it. Like, he got so shwasted that he needed a whole new body. And he's been like a coma for the past two years. I should probably take the photos of him pretty soon, actually. Since it's gonna be him and Cybertron Metro uh, Metroplex at this point. Maybe that'll generate even more buzz. Ooh, Spin Spinister, isn't he? Is Wait, Spinister is part of the uh, Scavengers, isn't he? Definitely could do with some more RIDO one stuff, so I'm sure I'll get to Splendid Convoy eventually. Maybe in the same episode as uh, Nemesis 
I'm sure Derek did do a spinster head design. I'll have to just look. I'll have to look it up later. Yeah, it doesn't really look the same. That's a little better. Oh, my arm. Oh, that hurt. Oh, yep, that one hurt a lot. Uh, the Combaticons I would probably do a lot more straightforward. I don't know. Maybe former bu buddies of Swindle that are in the slammer. He has to, maybe he busts them out after the whole Elite Guard fiasco. Or after the, actually after Devastator would make more sense. Like, oh that's a good idea. But, that's a good idea. I could use some hired muscle. Hmm. Yeah, them as like former prison buddies of Swindle. Maybe. I like that idea. Maybe, a, maybe, a, yeah. I don't know, I would still need to put a lot of thought into uh, 
Onslaught's design for sure. I haven't really thought about what I would do different for the others. I definitely like the idea of Onslaught having like a helmet, like a TF2 soldier helmet over the eyes kind of deal. Or definitely like that good, like that big old time, old timey helmet anyway. Have that integrated into the helmet, or into his head. Of course, I gotta. Of course, given present company, I would have a lot to uh, live up to with Vortex. Vortex. You don't know how often how often I've had to resist saying Vortex just casually. Vortex. I don't know about like Lysak with that kind of body though. Feels a little special to Megatron. A little bit too big boss for someone like Leo Zack. Especially given like Aaron Sieben Ayler's idea of a uh, TFA Energon uh, Megatron. Vortex. What would I do for Vortex? That's that is going to be a big undertaking. I feel like I want Blastoff to be, like, blackout huge, just so he can do the thing in the G1 cartoon where part of Blastoff forms the, uh, chess piece of Bruticus. And definitely be an actual military vehicle, not a tiny spaceship. I think, I like the stealth bomber idea for, uh, Blastoff. I always like that one as an alternative. Or like some kind of drone flight, uh, drone deal. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I said, I haven't put that much thought into uh, the Combaticons yet, funny enough. The animated ones, I should say. We're just, honestly, we're just saying Vortex because, like, as an accented thing, it's like a... We're only saying Vortex because it's an accent. Filipino Vortex, aka Vortex. Yeah, let's see. I want that to be. Oh wait, I guess I guess most of them don't usually have headlights, do they? Cybertron most don't necessarily need them. Bored of short. <laughs> I should make TFA Vortex the shortest one just to upset and just to upset Moon. I probably won't, it wouldn't make sense, but imagine if Vortex was the shortest one.
Oh wait, here's an idea. Because like Optimus has them, let me at least include. Uh, stupid all right catch you later stone thanks for stopping by Oh no, Beast Boy and Raven with like uh, Vortex and Blast Off. Oh no. That sounds dangerous. What will Vortex do? Onslaught being makes the cat combaticon as a disciplined unit. Yeah, that that makes sense. I I think the idea forming in my head now is that he's like a disgraced former Autobot general, and like Swindle breaks him out for some prior connection. Like maybe it's because of dealings with Swindle. TFA Onslaught got arrested, like sent to the stockade, so Swindle busts him out for additional support. Up would it be at the rest of the Combaticons where like a whole Teen Titans homage and Swindle was the odd one out for that reason? Oh no. Who would be Cyborg in that situation? Oh man, if uh, if blast off is like uh, Starfire, oh no. Oh wait, no, the more cursed option brawl being like Starfire.
Oh man, Shock Blast has a gun for them. That'd be that might be cool. This now talking about Brawl Fire just makes me think of that the one scene from Teen Titans. She's not my girlfriend. I am not your friend. I am not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> okay, that's looking a little bit better. How about a version of Dropkick? I, uh, Dropkick, I made an old one. I did a poll, unfortunately, and now I have to do him and shatter his triple changer, so I gotta figure that out at some point. I hate democracy. Evil Palpatine be like, I hate democracy. <laughs> Turn that into. Maybe I just might. Maybe. I do like the 07 design for the uh, toy for Dropkick too, so I might have to reference that anyway. This alt mode for Chromia. Uh, do you plan on making vehicles or more types of auto troopers like aerial bots? Uh, aerial troopers? Yeah. I don't see why not. Maybe. Ooh, some uh, auto troopers based on the Jet Twin mold. That'd be awesome. Imagine a bunch of combining. Uh, a bunch of Genericon sky fi uh, a bunch of Genericons styled after, uh, Safeguard. That'd be cool. And of course, the Prime style Vehicons, since there have been plenty of retroactive additions anyway, may as well 
Include some expendable Decepticon grunts. Again, I wouldn't. I, if I'm going this like to that effort, I'm probably not going to reuse anybody's design. The Vicons, I would want to give a more unique body to. Ironically. giving me trouble. There we go, that looks okay. I'm gonna do one more pass to finalize the details, I think. Might make this section a little bit bigger. Crax is probably the best existing reference for Viacons, but again, I nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> right now uh, we're on uh, in this vehicle section alone I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven different layers two of them are precautionary for this phase and I can probably delete them but I have eleven layers in this folder alone Seven movie Decepticon drones? Not sure. Haven't really thought about them. I'd probably want to reference the 07 Swindle uh, toy for nostalgia, but obviously it wouldn't be a Swindle. Uh, Skyfire, definitely. I just ha haven't really thought about him very much. 
Because I know Derek was interested in always doing a more G1-y uh, Skyfire at some point, apparently. Because if you look, TFA Jetfire is the only one who doesn't look anything like his G1 self. Or a G1 version of himself. So I'd want to explore that with Skyfire. Him, I could see being a turncoat Decepticon, for sure. Maybe 07 Swindle can be used as a base for the Viacons. Maybe. I will cross that bridge when I get there. About 2000, I don't, I don't really, honestly, I, like, there's some of the repaints that just don't even, that haven't really crossed my mind, so I don't know about him yet. I definitely think I have a lot of bigger characters to get through first.
Uh, Trailbreaker, I'm not too sure about either. I think I'd want to give him like a, a little bit of a belly like Ratchet though. I don't know why, it just seems right. He wouldn't be a Ratchet repaint, but a bit of a belly like Ratchet would be appropriate, methinks. Not too sure. I. Not too sure about those guys. Uh, actually, Inferno, I had an idea to combine the G1, uh, to an extent, the Energon and the Beast Wars pr version primarily together. Have a. Uh, Inferno as a Autobot who. Uh, switches sides and ends up becoming an experiment for Black Arachnia. That was the idea for Inferno. Skits and Slash. I, I haven't thought about Skits. Like, again, a lot of these I haven't really thought about, if I'm being entirely honest. I've thought about some of the... I've thought about the Victory guys. I've thought about Nemesis Prime. I've thought about Kaminus. I've thought about, like, Nightbird and so on. A lot of the G1 Autobots kind of slip under my radar, to be entirely real. I think I'd like to expand on Drift slash Deadlock at some point, though. Ooh, and punch counter punch for sure.
dr uh, dead uh, it, uh, deadlock would be the main thing because Drift already has a design I like the uh, blur remold. But deadlock would be the interesting one because it'd be like reverse engineering his Cybertronian Decepticon form from that. Punch and counter punch would be kind of a nightmare, I think. Uh, I did see that about the Drift and Deadlock and uh, Star Saber. This is a very interesting way you describe the young kind of like, what do you mean by that? Explain. America, explain. Why is this one Kansas and this one is not our. Is, why is this one Arcan uh, Kansas and this one is not Arkansas? I feel like I just dated myself by re uh, referencing that one. Oh yeah, Deadlock is a chopper. Our a uh, friend of mine, uh, Blurito, did that one. I really like that concept. Just would have to make sure not to retread it. Is the only thing. I'd want to do my own unique, like, unique thing with it. But I got to admit, the yeah, chopper is probably the easiest one to explain. And I mean, as a side benefit, easy uh, Decepticon blur. Is there a TFA Rook? I don't think so. Not the Cyber the Combiner Wars version anyway. Uh, spy drone, that would be interesting. Easy way to integrate the blades. Just leave that side out. Yeah, but that looks strange, a little bit too boxy. I think that's the problem. That's better. Forever mix up dead block and drift names. 
And it's just the way it goes. It's like, eh. imagine doing that in person with him, though. Like, hey, what's up, Deadlock? It, it, it's Drift. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that'll do. That will suffice. Oh, yeah. I feel like Megatron definitely tried to smooth things over with Drift at some point and accidentally called him Deadlock and made it worse. Ooh. Pyro based on animated Optimus? Okay. I, could, I guess I could see that. suffice maybe a bit smaller but yeah let's get a good look from the full oh, so yeah maybe even a little smaller
Yep, inking time. And some fixes in the inking process. I have this locked in, I'll get back to her robot mode. Is there a TFA bumper yet? Yeah, I think there is in like the Almanacs. I think they did like almost every Bumblebee repaint in that one. So that's definitely going to be her arms.
is really more tiring than I thought it would be. I also actually woke up earlier this morning, so who knows. Guess the days are just getting longer. It's just one of those days. I mean, undeniably, this is a good bit of work, but still. Just strange, feel more tired than usual. is doing the thing again where the chat's not updating. Sorry, everyone. I wondered why I wasn't seeing anything. I just have to complain about it, and I'll see it again in a minute. Yep, OBS is really screwing with you tonight. Yep. What about a TFA version of R.I.D. Scourge? Y yeah, I'm already... I just read your previous message, Kieran. I'm using a lot of brain power to design muscle, Mommy. That's why you're tired. Newsflash, everyone. Muscle mummies take out, take out a lot of your energy at night. More at 11. But yeah, I already have something kind of planned for R.I.D. 01, or, unless you meant, like, the Cerberus looking dude. Don't you, don't you fucking smiley face at me. You'll need to go to, I need to establish some kind of horny jail system. I know if Agatha were here, she would say, uh, the, the post, oh, what are they going to do? Take me to hor when they ho take me to horny jail. Are they gonna arrest me? Put me in handcuffs. Horny Jill is just your chat at this point. This is the truth. If only I had a cute anime girl avatar, then I would be really rolling in dough right now. I'd probably be just as exhausted because the work's just as hard, but... Not to diminish.
Him, him, knock off Rosanna Avatar. God. Him, I could probably make a live shoujo, a live 2D model based on Bishoujo Optimus. I'd take it. Ooh, or uh, Bishoujo Nemesis. We still need to get that statue eventually. If I could ever find it for a decent price. What if that's the only thing we go home with at, uh, after TFCon? Like, what if that's what we find? What if that's the grail? Nemesis for you and regular Optimus for David. Oh no. That would, that would be so funny. Like the deep ass Peter Cullen voice. The depressed Peter Cullen voice coming from David coming out of the Bishoujo Optimus design. Just the exhausted <sighs> Fine. Have you ever played the hit game Among Us? From David. <laughs> like, But it's a cute anime girl. Oh man, he would be raking in the cash. OBS is doing the thing where it's slow to upload chat, so I had to stop and look over at my phone to see what you guys are getting up to this time. I'm back, but only to tell you I'm calling it in. Stay safe, folks, and good night. Alright, good night, Caldeo. Thanks for stopping by. Again, hopefully, before long. I won't be streaming next weekend, obviously, because I'll be at the convention, but hopefully after this is done, I'll be getting to the uh, off-brand omnibus. Hope you enjoyed my old uh, TFW animated thread. Peace. Peace.
I cry. I haven't made anything for Morgan Lofting this year. Oh no! You still have time. I think. Alright, that'll that'll do. That'll that'll fucking do. Maybe I should make this more sloped though for the sake of the vehicle mode. Just so it isn't outright, you know, titties at the front end of the car. There we go, that's a little better. Yeah, that'll do it'll do. It'll do. Yo, OBS, you wanna catch up to the stream or uh, the chat anytime soon? Just my rough sketches for my TFA Mermaid Chibis. Nice! But I can't start now because I'm not done with my jacket and I haven't started with my mask or gotten my eye makeup. I know. It's fine. It's fine. Just maybe make sure you get a picture with Morgan or something. Just make sure to show up at, like, see her in the Moonracer jacket or something. Kitty lights, stop! Cease! You there! Cease your heresy! That doesn't look too bad, though. It'll help inform this. Give my wrist a quick break though. Never. One more, I swear to God, if you guys say one more horny thing about Chromia. thing where they can pop their wrists now by the way uh, if not uh, unfortunate preview for getting older your wrists start to pop eventually when you wake up and I know it's not an arthritis or an art arthritis thing because it happens in both wrists No, my fingers very much. Ah, give it time. It'll happen to your wrists eventually. Like, every morning now, I gotta wake up and push down pretty good on one... Or not pretty good, just push down on my wrists and... So apparently as you get older, you get gas build up in your wrists. Fun fact. That one's just to see if Max is still paying attention.
I don't know if I'll have time to color her before I get her called a night, but um, I think I can at least uh, ink her too. That doesn't sound right with all the comments from you motherfuckers. Now you've got me doing it. Son of a bitch. Let's get this color back. I already have it. Good. All right away. Oh, shit. Wrong one. Ah. Cease your heresy. I always think of the meme like, don't you fucking oo-woo me. will stop when I'm dead. These are acceptable terms. Get ready to die, boy. My pillow fort account can attest to that. Okay, fair enough. having a soundboard. I'm going to start paying for that again just so I can use it.
Insatiable. I don't know what I would do if I actually did NSFW art streams. I just feel like everyone would be going ape, or either, either that, or there would just be no reaction. It's like, okay. supposed to be a horny, horny goblin, no one will be. Been to a few W streams are surprisingly chill. You, yeah, you would think it would be a lot more hectic than that, but I get that vibe too. That NSFW streams are usually a lot more low key. It's not everyone being a gross little goblin. I mean, pleasant to hear, just uh, indeed a bit surprising. the post net clarity. <laughs> Not a bad theory to be honest. You're off your nut until you get off and nut. That makes sense.
wasn't really a lot going on with that one. Head's definitely too big though.
Yeah, the chat became very quiet. Yeah. I think it's just because it's getting later and stuff like that. Makes sense. I'm paying up my jacket sleeve, lel. Lel. Yeah, that's better.
Yeah, that'll do. Now I just gotta figure out this arm. see the other hand. I guess that doesn't matter. And again. There we go. Yeah, we can see it. Couldn't see red alerts arm in the back view either. I guess it doesn't matter. And no, oh, I can probably figure it out. Damn it, why do you gotta have to send me so far away?
Okay. Not a bad back view, I would say. That'll do, anyway. Oh, maybe I should add the lines here, though. Yeah, that'll do. I'll have to refine the hand a bit later, though. But that's hands for you. Reference that uh, the head design she has. Thank you. Yeah. I'm finally figuring it out, so hopefully. Should program your scenes, I see. Yeah, maybe. 
A lot of technical stuff I still need to do. Maybe when I don't have as much con crunch to deal with. Yeah, just still getting used to everything. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just right now, still getting the hang of it. Just the process getting used to doing this regularly. If you made uh, gloves that look like armor and has cooking streams that way, <laughs> you know, and actually I wouldn't mind that, I don't think. A bite type could be a good strong... Uh, strong arm, I like the idea of her being like an auto trooper remold. God, actually, I keep seeing that. Uh, I keep seeing that idea. Yeah, I like that one. I may have to consider the gloves, though. <laughs> Cooking streams or like tinkering, like build streams might be kind of cool. Something else to do with my hands. Hopefully that will result in less arthritis. even a ratchet tool retool in the toy line yeah exactly I guess you just wouldn't see that one so I'll have to compensate with that one not that much not that much either okay that works The idea of some armored up energy construct just baking a cake is so cool. Let me just hold this over my head real quick. She could be used to make Nitra too. I don't remember Nitra. I'll have to look up the, her up after the stream. Ah, uh, yes. 
That's right. Okay. Optimus Primal. I think it was said that Optimus Primal would be like a like a clone of Optimus or something. I don't know. At least I think that's the direction Kean went with. I'm pretty sure he said something about Marty going like, yeah, Optimus Primal would have been some kind of strange like clone. I suppose makes sense. Can't really do the whole time travel thing as easily. Primal Major. Uh, I think it's a different thing. Like, Primal Major is one of those al almanac things that they wouldn't have actually approved of. Like, that Derek didn't actually want. One of those things that he didn't sign off on. Kind of like Impactor and his uh, Sentinel unit being purple. Or Omega unit being purple. Because, you know, no purple Autobots in TFA. thing
I do it. I have to head up. Big Satch. Okay. See you later, babe. Good night. Love you. Good luck with your jacket. Really use Optimus for something that being a little old clone. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's like three. To be fair, before while they were still developing S4, it's not like uh, Motormaster and so were a thing. Those all came after. That's when you start getting like the repaint crate like centric uh, characters, like the Stunicons and stuff. Because well shit, we can't exactly design more. Can't make more from scratch, anyway. Understandable, but it's kind of weird. I guess that's fair. It's not quite that bad, like the old Clone Saga comparison, that's not fair. Say be a thing for cloning up though. Yeah, yeah. The one X you can't get over or some shit like that. I don't know.
Yes, that's right. Cured and I don't know. I, uh, hmm. I guess it would make sense Black Arachne being split off into more of her proper uh, Beast Wars self. I just don't know about that. I definitely want to see season four. Well, it sounded like that was never in the cards, though, is I guess my thing. They always wanted her to be, like... Black Arachne is, like, the leader of the Predacons and stuff, so I don't think they ever had it in the cards that she would ever go back to being a leader one. Here's some wishful thinking. Okay, fair enough, then. Hi. Alright. OBS is being really slow again. He really doesn't like the chat tonight.
Losing Jeff or being horny, horny earlier? No, it's just a bit. Are you sure about that? You can't, it's just a prank, bro, OBS. OBS is wise to your trickery. And your goonery. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. Emotionless technology attacking once again. Technology is afraid of the horny. I think that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Never mind.
start again. still look too big I'm just I'm just gonna do fists I don't care anymore seems more in character for it to have like your fists up anyway Too small, though. There we go. Should be a little lower, maybe. There we go, that's better. There we go.
resolves the answer. I don't believe A. Is OBS, oh, is OBS the anti-moto moto? I don't know. I think it's a problem with this, with her. It's the problem with y'all. Y'all being too much. I'm glad y'all are enjoying yourselves, but apparently OBS is not. Good enough. No, it isn't. Alright, so fists for both views. Got it. More in character, anyway. the hands be but I am fixing it on this side There. That'll do. That fist definitely needs to be bigger. Alright, that works. Okay. Let's trim those things off of the top of our helmets. I think we're doing pretty good. I think we've got it. I do have to add the something over here though.
Okay. Yep, I think we got it pretty good. I'm going to, on my own time, design her weapon, probably a shield of some sort. Yeah. But yeah, I think we got something pretty good here. Take some elements that still work from the first one, but now... Yeah, feels a little bit more authentic to me. I like it. <sighs> I think I'm going to finish inking these angles and I'm going to call it a night. I'm a lot more beat than I thought I would be. Starting to feel that tingle in my wrist too anyway. Or my forearm. Damn, OBS hasn't updated chat in a while.
I think the horny has fallen asleep. I've been able to work on Chromia's ass for more than two minutes. In peace. Finish lining this angle, then call it a night. My forearm's starting to do the tingling thing after drawing for a while. And getting quiet anyway. You summoned? Yep, yeah, there it is. I knew it. I knew that would stir at least one of you. You're too late, Spider-Man. The ass has already been renderized. I was working on my own thing. Okay, that's fair. Cake me a god. Boo. a bit last minute, but... Let's help for each other. Any idea what I already come in? Fighting for some misunderstanding. I don't know. I'd have to see... I don't know what... Obviously, they'd have to meet up at some point, but I don't know what that is, honestly. I mean, I guess I did have in mind Chromia. Uh, Chromia would be traveling around with Windblade and Nautica across the galaxy, so I guess, I guess it stands to reason that it would eventually entail arriving on Earth. And Ironhide was supposed to be on uh, Earth with Optimus in the later seasons, so...
Maybe a diplomatic earth mission to Earth? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. I don't know, I guess it depends on how close they would want to stick to the whole, to animated, to the uh, movie Ironhide inspiration for that design. I, I mean, I do think he had like big uh, cannons on his arms in the, in those concepts, so maybe. Guess I never did, guess I never did ask what those were supposed to be. I guess by that point in the war, things would start to change, but I'm not sure how much.
quick. Okay, now OBS chat's updating. Wait, what the hell just happened? Where'd the line art for that one go? How long ago did it disappear? Or wait, did I not did I not get to that one? No oh, no, I just panicked. I don't think I got to that one yet. That was the whole point. Ah, false alarm then. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's probably a good sign to end after this one because I'm getting so delirious I'm forgetting what I have and have not done. At least better that design than Grey Sentinel. Yeah, for sure. That was just a test drive, though. That was never the final model. But I get what you mean. Okay, that's not bad.
how that'll do. Okay, that's good enough. I did almost miss this part though, not that tired. Okay, yeah, that's going to do it for tonight, but, yeah, finally, got some headway with Chromia. Now I just need to handle the front view and whatever her weapon is, and find a place for her badge. But, with that, it is 11 o'clock, it's been... Yeah, just shy of five hours, so I will be posting this on, hopefully be posting a fully rendered Chromia on Twitter before too long. In the meantime, thank you everyone for joining and sticking with me. I'm sure the uh, back end of the stream made it a lot easier, let's put it that way. And, um, not going to be around for... Next weekend, I hope to have a video uploaded, uh, the bigger video I had uploaded, uh, planned uploaded on, uh, Saturday for those who can't make it to TFCon or those who can, who still feel like checking their phones in the morning, I guess. But, uh, the weekend after, I do plan coming back with more art streams, but I will keep you guys posted on how that goes. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you all have a good night. Take care.